Pollination, the transfer of pollen grains from a flower's male anthers to a female stigma, is critical to sexual reproduction in the majority of plants. And from the point of view of the survival of a species, maximum pollination is the most desirable situation because the most seeds and offspring will be produced. Sometimes wind alone is sufficient to accomplish this feat, but pollination is usually much more successful if a pollen-carrying animal is involved. Bees are the most familiar pollinators, but in addition many other creatures such as flies, spiders, hummingbirds, butterflies, and bats can transfer pollen too. Many pollinators carry pollen accidentally because it clings to their bodies when they visit a flower to gather nectar. However, several types of bees intentionally collect pollen in tiny sacks on their legs and carry it back to their hives where it is mixed with nectar to prepare a special food called bee pollen. Floral nectaries, the structures where nectar is stored, are generally located inside the base of a flower, so pollinators will usually brush up against the flower's reproductive structures while collecting the sweet liquid. So naturally, when a pollen grain from their bodies rubs off on a sticky stigma, pollination will take place and a new seed will most likely begin to develop.